All right, welcome back, eSim Studios. Today's Friday. Hope everybody had a good week as we head into the weekend. Now, this video, I'm going to do something a little different and something that you, I, I guarantee you, you will rarely see in the content creation space. <laughs> so, today we are going delist and or separate from a sponsor of the eSim Studios YouTube channel. After a long debating, should I make a video about this? Should I not make a video? Should I just pull the sponsor? Should I just delete it from my description box and my videos? I woke up this morning and I was like, no, I need to uh, do a video and let everybody know kind of what's going on. So, Helium Mobile. Um, Helium Mobile, up until the last few days, has been wonderful, right? So Helium Mobile, they've been a sponsor of mine for uh, probably a few months, uh, maybe more than that, maybe six months. And I was actually a user for about a year, but just six months, uh, actually sponsored, right? They give me a link. The more people that uh, click the link, sign up for service, uh, I get kickbacks, right? Everybody, you, all YouTubers do that. Uh, it's just a way to generate more revenue, right? It's called affiliate links, affiliate uh, marketing. Um, now, I don't typically, well, I, I don't do it at all, recommend companies that I'm not a user of. So if you go into the, let's see here, if you go into the description box of my videos, you will see a number of links down there at the bottom. So let me pull up something that I'll, so if you look at this, here's the bottom. If you, if you watch this video and you see this description box, you can click on that description box to expand it. And it's a description box for that video. And as myself and other YouTubers put links down there, we get kickbacks. It is what it is. Now, some YouTubers need to do a better job of vetting some companies. Some people are like me where I only recommend companies that I actually use. It makes me feel more comfortable offering that product, right? Like, I mean, I don't, the last thing I want to do is offer a product and it turns around and bites you in the ass. Well, kind of foreshadowing, foreshadowing where we are going with this one. But so here's what we got, right? So I, I have a lot of side projects. I'm a web and app developer and I promote some of my own websites, right? Some of those links are mine, right? I developed them like the Just Jamaica app you can see right here. That's mine. I developed it on my own. I M E I City, that's mine. I developed it on my own. And then you have NordVPN. Now, I'm a user of NordVPN. I used NordVPN even before I started the YouTube channel. They're legit, right? And then you got, who's the other sponsor? Look at there, Helium Mobile. And then I have some contact information. Well, Helium Mobile, up until this point, um, look, it's a cheap service, right? Um, they have a free plan. Uh, they have a $15 a month unlimited plan and then a $30 a month unlimited plan. They have kids plans as well, right? Now, let me show you kind of what led me to this point where I am going to cut ties, disassociate myself and the channel with Helium Mobile. You will not see me promote Helium Mobile at all. And I'm actually going to delete my Helium Mobile account. And I have them on two phones. I got it on my iPhone and I got it on my Pixel. Uh, but let me tell you what led me to this point. And look, possibly I've been promoting them. I made a video. I'm going to take that down uh promoting them encouraging you to sign up with them right well here's what led me to this point so a few i was gonna say maybe about a week ago i got a weird notification on my pixel and it kind of frightened me right it kind of scared me um and let in led me down a path to where i just don't feel comfortable using helium mobile and the last thing i want you to do is sign up through or sign up with Helium Mobile through us. And then this happened to you because I don't want you to be like, what the hell? 
uh, Taylor over at ECM Studios recommended me to use his carrier, and I ported my phone number. I got my wife, my daughter on the on Helium Mobile. Now we're all getting these weird messages, right? And I'm, ta I'm not talking about text messages. Those are spam. I'm talking about messages that make you wonder, uh, what the hell is going on? So here's a notification I got on my Pixel just last week. Now, I've gotten three of these. I got one last night, and that's when I was like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I got this notification on my phone, on my Pixel, right? And I, did, I took screenshots. So here is security and privacy, right? When you get that message, you're like, whoa, what is this? Device ID accessed. At 12.32 a.m., a nearby network recorded your device unique. And then I expanded it, right? So let me take this down. Let me pull this one up. It says, at 12.32 a.m., a nearby network recorded your device's unique ID, uh, IMSI or IMEI, while using your Helium SIM. Now, I have an eSIM. There are, you, you can request a physical SIM, but most everything now is moving towards eSIM. And they're easier, right? You don't have to wait for them to mail you an eSIM. You can get going right now. This means that your location, your activity, or and or identity have been logged. This is common practice, but may be an issue for people concerned about privacy. Uh, you think? <laughs> so there's a big yellow button under there that says learn more. Okay, well, let's learn more, right? So then it pulls up this. Learn about mobile network security settings. And let me pull up a bigger screen so we can all see what's going on so it takes you to right here and what it says is learn about android mobile network security settings some steps okay blah 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 okay so check this out so here's what this notification means and i'm going to tell you why it's concerning so when a nearby network collects your device's unique hardware ids which is either international mobile equipment identif identifier IMEI or International Mobile Subscriber Identifier, IMSI, it indicates that your location, your activity, or identity has been logged. This is common practice and usually is part of normal network activity, but, here's the but, it may also indicate a fake cellular tower that tricks your phone into connecting to it when it is nearby fake cell towers and older network types like 2g can be used for tracking devices location sending sms sms spam sim swaps accessing your personal or financial data and more a frequent series of notifications within a short period of time could potentially be a sign of tracking by malicious cell tower through the mobile network security settings on your Android device, you can evaluate your privacy risk and decide how you want to protect yourself. For example, you could turn off your mobile network by turning on airplane mode until you can connect to a secure mobile network. With mobile network security settings, you can turn on notifications on mobile network security, stop the device from connecting to 2G networks, and so on and so on. <clears throat> so here's what I did when I first noticed this uh on my screen here's what i did so after reading through all this i said well shit <laughs> so here's the concern oh let me tell you what first what i did what i first what i did is i went into my settings app on the pixel with the helium mobile and i went to mo i went to network and internet i went to sims and where it says Helium Mobile, I simply turned that off. So I deactivated the SIM so it's not going to connect to a network, to a Helium's network and or that fake cell phone tower. So here's the issue. So I we all know carriers access certain information and or data. But here's the, here's the alarming part. I've had AT&T, I've had T-Mobile, I've had Verizon, I've had Cricket, I've had Mint Mobile. Uh, who else have I had? I tried a number of MVNOs a, a couple years ago. <clears throat> this is the probably 
you used and or had an account on probably 10 mobile networks. This is the very first time I've ever gotten a message like that ever. And it kind of scared me at first, right? Last thing you want to do is uh, have a SIM swap, uh, your bank accounts drained, your crypto drained. So and it's very possible, right? Like this is stuff that um, this, this is stuff that agencies use uh, around the world, spy agencies, Mossad, CIA, bad actors, they all use these. And what do they use? Um, a fake cell phone tower. Now, before we jump into that, here's what I did. So I turned off my helium in the network settings. Well, first what I did is I immediately, I turned my Wi-Fi off. I thought um, maybe I got SIM swap, so I turned my Wi-Fi off, right? And then I immediately checked to see if my mobile network was working, meaning I could get on ESPN.com. Because as soon as you get SIM swapped, your mobile network does not work anymore, right? So, okay, so it still worked. So I turned back on my Wi-Fi, and then I went into network settings and turned off that SIM card. So here's the thing with the fake cell phone towers. Um, now, as I get, let's say it's a real cell phone tower. I've still never had any other mobile network send me that message. That's why it's concerning. Um, is that, sure, Helium Mobile is free. Helium Mobile is cheap. But I think on the flip side, they're probably pulling a shitload of user data. They're probably pulling a shitload of your personal information in store. Regardless of storing it or not, they're pulling information from your device, right? And here's what I recommend. <clears throat> I'm not going to jump too far off of this, but uh, if you want to be super careful, use a burner, not necessarily a burner phone, but buy like a three or four year old, like a Pixel 7a and don't put a mobile network on it. Don't put a SIM card on there. Just use it on Wi-Fi and do banking and stuff on that device that's just connected to Wi-Fi. Because let's face it, through your mobile network is how a lot of these hacks, uh, SIM swaps happen is through your mobile network, right? Um, so getting back to a fake cell phone tower. So they said it's either your carrier pulling a shit tota, a shitload of personal information off your device or it's a fake cell phone tower. So what the hell is a fake cell phone tower? Fake cell phone tower is an IMSI catcher. It looks like a jumbo. Um, let me pull it up for you. Hang on. Let me pause this. Hang on. Okay, so this is an IMSI catcher. So this is a quote unquote fake cell phone tower. These are technically illegal uh, for personal use for a, a U.S. citizen to own one of these. Now, <laughs> You can get these online. Um, you can actually find these. I think they used to, I haven't looked in a long time. I think you can, they used to be available and they might still be on AliExpress, on DHgate, uh, Alibaba, China websites, right? You can buy them over there, but they're illegal to, I think you can purchase it, but when you ship it over there, when you have it shipped to you, it's illegal to possess. As a U.S. citizen in the United States, so these are not good. So this is a fake cell phone tower. So here's the worrying part: is that somebody can use, and all the spy agencies use these, and uh, um, actually SIM card swappers use these. So what you can do is somebody could park out in front of my house and have one of these, right? And what they do is activate it, and it emits a network just like a cell phone tower. And what does your phone do? Your phone connects to the closest tower with the strong and or a tower with the strongest signal. If this is parked out front of the house, my phone's going to connect to it, right? It thinks it's a legit cell phone tower. Now, the cell phone companies have tried to circumvent this by encrypting uh, their network. But I just got a message on my phone saying you're connected to an unencrypted network. So that either means... I would got connected to an IMSI catcher, this thing, or my phone is connected to a legit Helium mobile network that's unencrypted. So why would I want to suggest a mobile network 
to you, the viewer, which is where your Helium network, where your Helium SIM will connect to an unencrypted network and or to a IMSI catcher. Now, once it's connected to an IMSI catcher, what the bad actors will do, they can pull all sorts of stuff from your phone. Whatever's in your phone, data-wise, they can pull. They can also perform a SIM swap. Um, and you're screwed, right? So you don't want your, and we have a ton of personal information on these devices. Security is at the, I take it very seriously. And that's why I'm basically distancing myself, cutting all ties with Helium Mobile. So I don't want to make this video too long. I do apologize. Um, and after sleeping on it, I'm like, well, duh, I have to make a video and tell everybody. So if you did sign up with Helium Mobile, I think there's a few people that did. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I checked a couple days ago to look how many people. I'm like, well, my worst nightmare was, well, shit, what if 100 people signed up? You know what I'm saying? It was a few people, not a lot. It was a few. So if you're one of the ones that did sign up, um, I apologize. My bad. I wanted to bring this to you as soon as possible. I don't know if you've gotten those messages or not. I have. Maybe some out, Maybe somebody's out targeting me. <laughs> I have no idea, um, but I recommend, <clears throat> my bad, I recommend you um, switch to another carrier. Again, I've had a lot of carriers. This is the first time I've ever seen this message. And again, it means I'm either, it means Healy Mobile has an unencrypted network, which is not good, or I got, or you're vulnerable to these uh, IMSI catchers, these fake cell phone towers that pull all sorts of personal info off your device so um again i apologize i i do try and vet uh these companies that i suggest in this one uh just and it was it was it was all good right when i signed up and started using them but after getting i think this is the third message in the last week that i got uh that looked suspicious and uh after I got that message last night and I slept on it. I woke up today. I was just not feeling good about this. I was like, I, I gotta, I gotta cut ties, but I need to let everybody know. Uh, I don't recommend Helium Mobile anymore. So I'm going to delete Helium Mobile, uh, from all, most all of my videos that I can. I'm going to delete that video that I made, uh, for them. And, um, yeah, so if you got any questions, hit me up. Maybe if you're one of the unlucky few that did sign up, um, you can hit me up on the back end. I can walk you through how to uh, port your number out and or cancel your um, your um, account. All right, you can do it all in their app. But anyways, let me get out of here. I do apologize. Um, and uh, if anything else comes up, um, I'll let y'all know. Peace.